see? Scavenger scum. Hi everyone, I'm Erin and welcome to Scavenger Scum, the show that brings you all the latest Star Wars news and rumors. Let's kick this show off with Luke Skywalker. Why is he on Act 2? Why has he spent most of the 30 years since the return of the Jedi searching for artifacts? Sure, he returned to see the birth of his nephew, and we know he returned to train a new Jedi Order, one that consisted of at least one student, but probably more. In Aftermath, Empire's End, we learn that a dark force is calling out to the Emperor Palpatine and the Acolytes of the Beyond. Well, what if at some point Luke was able to tap into the dark side transmission of sorts and was able to understand that something unknown from somewhere unknown was about to threaten the galaxy? No one knows exactly why Luke vanished to Octu, but some are speculating he went there in search of an artifact that would be powerful enough to aid the resistance against the threat of the First Order, or this mysterious darkness from the unknown regions. What if the artifact he was searching for was Rey? What if he knew to stay on Actu and she would come for him? Rey, after all, was hidden on Jakku, which is a planet shrouded in the dark side. Could the Jedi artifact Luke is searching for on the first Jedi temple have been Rey? Let us know by tweeting at RebelScumCast with the hashtag RebelScumPodcast. On to some Thrawn news. Author Timothy Zahn spoke with USA Today and along with the excerpt from the upcoming Thrawn novel, he gave a bit of insight into the Thrawn character. Zahn explains that most Imperial leaders led with fear and manipulation, yet he wanted to write a commander that led with loyalty. His men would serve him whether he was looking over their shoulder or not. This is definitely the case with what's been happening on Rebels as of late, which was just renewed for Season 4. The excerpt from the book reveals a conversation between Thrawn and the Emperor. Emperor Palpatine is hesitant to hire Thrawn and asks what guarantee the Emperor would have that Thrawn would choose their side over his people if a conflict should arise. He assures the Emperor that his word is his guarantee, then says, perhaps your servant can speak to that guarantee. Then he informs the Emperor that he is speaking of the one who always spoke highly of Chancellor Palpatine, to which the Emperor states, Skywalker, Anakin Skywalker, meaning Thrawn knew of the young Jedi, but how much did he know? Thrawn is scheduled to hit bookshelves April 11, 2017 with three different covers. Looks like Finn's going to be more than comic relief in The Last Jedi. Making Star Wars is suggesting, and remember, these are all rumors so take them with a grain of salt, that Finn and Kelly Marie Tran's character will sneak on board a First Order Superstar Destroyer. Finn will sport the uniform of an Imperial officer and run into Tom Hardy, who will be playing a stormtrooper. Reportedly, this scene plays out with Tom Hardy congratulating Finn on the promotion and giving him a slap on the butt. Then, later, Finn and Kelly Marie Tran's character place explosives on the Superstar Destroyer. Also, he's going to be saying this, Biohexacrypt. I'm sure it's one of those standard crazy Star Wars names we randomly get all the time. And finally, Phasma could be a badass in the next installment of the Skywalker Saga. Early word from the soon-to-be-released trailer suggests that stormtroopers are running down a street. When they turn back and yell, it's the Jedi, to which they vanish. Captain Phasma, however, is said to stand her ground and wait for the Jedi. A blue glare is then to be seen crossing her helmet. Whether the Jedi is Luke or Rey at this point, we don't know. But it will be nice to see Phasma doing something and standing her ground proving she is more than just a cool costume. And remember, if you have a topic that you'd like to hear discussed on Rebel Scum Podcast, tweet us or comment below. That's it for this segment of Scavenger Scum. I'm Erin, and I'm one with the Force, and the Force is with me. See you next time. What did you say? Scavenger Scum. Hey, scumbags. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our video. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rebel Scum Podcast, for all the latest videos.